Up before the sun every single day He gave me a home and gave me my name He sang Robert Earl and sweet baby James Yeah, he built a life on amazing grace I was born to break every single rule With a reckless heart when we had the freeze, I don't even remember when that was, beginning of this year, we think it busted our pressure reducer for our drip irrigation system. So we bought a replacement. You do not have to remember to water. You just put a timer on there and it waters. I think we have it set up to do once in the morning and once in the evening. So let's get this done first and then we're gonna put our tomatoes in some tomato cages. This is the pressure reducer right here it just ends up spraying water out right here we think the freeze had something to do with it so we have this and then this is our timer which it's off right now because it's just spraying water over here making this a muddy mess so we're going to take this off and right here's where our kink is and i'm going to just cut it a little bit all of these products are going to be listed down below this is what it originally looked like but the new part on this end was not fitting correctly with the diameter of the the tubing so what we did was we took this is the old part and put it on the new pressure reducer because this pressure reducer this part right here is the only thing that was messed up in leaking water all right let's put it on auto moment of truth i'm gonna set it on a manual for 10 minutes just so we can check it there's no water leaking here anymore no water leaking so i'm hoping that was just a problem let's move my jacket so that way Look, we were, we're already getting some good water flow. See that right there? Good water flow right there. Here we go, that one's actually a good stream so we can actually turn down the pressure if we need to. And look, this is the very end and we are getting water flow. So the way we have this set up, because we're getting a little bit too much water, I can actually turn this down just a little bit, maybe. Oh, that turned it up. About right there. Should be good water flow for that. So now I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna try the tomato cages, but I may just do steaks and trim them a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little bit of both, see which one I like better. Got a steady job, he's a steady man. In over 30 years with a wedding band. Bet a wild child wasn't in his plans But every part of him's a part of who I am I can see it all in his weathered eyes The love strength and love and sacrifice spread his fame but when a good man lives he leaves awake and in a thousand years it will still remain i can't see it all in his weathered eyes full of strength and love and sacrifice look we have a big tomato growing right there there was a lot that I trimmed, like this one looks like it might be dying, but I think the reason why was because this plant was actually on top of this plant, so it's probably still in nutrients from it. And then, oh look, I accidentally broke that part. 
So I just trimmed and uh, anywhere that I saw a lot of flowering, I kept unless it was just really overgrown or I felt like it was taking too many nutrients from other plants or from like the rest of the plant. Like this one had a little bit of dead on it and this one I think is dying. But it looks a lot nicer now, look, you can actually see it. And I think we have a deer, because we've been having deer in our yard, they're either eating that or the ducks are coming in and eating that, one of the two. I think it might be the ducks, but we're gonna keep an eye on that. That is our Chinese cabbage. And then we've got a lot of flowering over here for our bell peppers. Look at that jalapeno. We might not let those go for too long. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna harvest this. And this little guy, you're gonna go in a cage or you're gonna get staked up one of the two. So I'm gonna come and harvest these. Look at this. This is broccoli and I'm so happy for it. This and that is broccoli and then we've got some kale over here. And I don't remember what these were. Oh, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts. That's what it was. That looks like a tomato plant, but we didn't plant tomatoes there. That's odd. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. If you trim your tomato plants, they cannot go to your pigs. Your pigs cannot eat all of that. Apparently it's poisonous to them. We did not know that. We were just doing some basic research and read that. So you don't wanna do that. Now that the garden is all situated, I'm gonna go and do a baby check on Tushy. I wanna know how many, ooh, I'm not crying. I wanna know how many babies you guys think that she might have in her belly. So what I mean by baby check is we're gonna be checking her udder. So when her udder starts to get full, that's when she's, we know that she's getting ready to kid. But look, you're getting fat. Of course, you don't even look as fat as you do on video. When you run, you can really see your fatness. Net. Look at her belly. Last night, I was taking, hi Billy. I wasn't giving you any attention. Last night I was checking on Jules, which we are still precautionary with her and keeping her in the trailer and safe, you know, close to us so that way we can keep an eye on her since she's our older goat. But I was checking on her last night, locking up the trailer. And I swear I heard a baby goat and I text Steven and he came out because it was already nighttime. It was already uh, dark outside. We hate the time change by the way, but he came out and brought a spotlight. Nothing. They just was fooling us. Does that feel good, bud? Huh? Billy looks like he's really filling out lately, especially in his chest. I was just talking about how he still looked like a small billy goat, but <laughs> looks like he's getting filled out, huh? You're eating something that's making you big and buff. Or are you just carb loading for the winter? <laughs> what, bud? I don't want to touch your face because you pee on your face. Mm, I love my babies. So she still does not like to be touched. So yeah, that's all we have on the farm for you guys today. I'm glad our garden finally got fixed. I'm gonna do another video planting our seedlings that are coming up and just kind of maintaining. I'm really happy that we got the water fixed. We're gonna post all the stuff that we used in the video down below and uh, hopefully that was helpful for y'all if y'all are, you know, are experiencing the same thing. I wanna say it was called yard bird, but that's a seasoning. I forget, bird? I don't remember. We're gonna post the, the original set that we bought down below of the drip irrigation system. Definitely wasn't called yard bird. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Rare moment caught on video. Are you gonna let me pet you? What? What? Oh man, I feel special. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go inside and wash my hands now. Ow. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of fixing that garden water and staking our tomato plants. We love you guys and God bless.